Hi viewers, my name is Vachisapanian and joining me right now is Assembly Member Laura Friedman. Laura Friedman is in charge of the 43rd Assembly District. The cities include Glendale, Burbank, Lockheed out of Flintage, and portions, portions of Los Angeles, which include Los Feliz and Little Armenia, and also the unincorporated community of uh, La Crescenta, Montrose. Uh, thank you very much, Laura Friedman, uh, for taking time out of your busy schedule for this interview. Hi, Bache. Thank you so much for talking with me today. I'm Assemblymember Laura Friedman. So today I'll be asking a few questions regarding the coronavirus. So one of the questions I have is, since the LA County stay at home order has got extended, uh, why is it important for everyone to follow the stay at home order and leave, not leave their house? So why is it important for everyone to stay at home so we could stop the spread of the coronavirus? So the reason that it's important for everyone to stay at home during the stay at home order is because as we learn more about the virus and more and more of our scientists work on treatments, we'll have better and better treatments and hopefully even a vaccine, which means the longer that we can keep you from getting sick and your loved ones from getting sick, the better your chances will be of being able to have a full recovery. So please everyone stay at home, be safe, and keep everybody safe. Even if you are not at high risk, I guarantee that you know somebody who is at high risk. Whether it's a friend your own age that has an underlying condition they may not even know about, or your own parents or grandparents or neighbors, let's try to make sure that we protect everybody. Thank you very much. So my next question is, how are the clinics and hospitals doing with medical supplies? Some of the supplies include masks and gloves, which um, in your district? Now, clinics and hospitals have been struggling with medical equipment and medical supplies. We have made a huge push at the state level and at the federal level to get supplies and personal protective equipment into the hands of our frontline medical personnel. And I will say the situation is improving. It's certainly not perfect. And we don't have equipment into everybody's hands who needs it, not to all of our frontline essential workers and not to even our medical staff. So this is certainly something that we need to keep working on. Thank you very much. So my next question is, there are a lot of people who are in financial struggle right now due to the coronavirus and they are living paycheck by paycheck. And what are some things that is being put in place because of this? Like for example, rent freeze or stimulus checks? Now, a lot of people are living paycheck to paycheck and are having a lot of trouble dealing with the economic fallout from COVID-19, but there is help out there from the federal, state, county, and city governments. A large part of our assistance is coming from the federal government under the form of the CARES Act stimulus checks and a new type of unemployment insurance for those who don't usually, who wouldn't qualify otherwise, people who are independent contractors, for instance, or who, or who have their own small businesses. There's a new type of unemployment insurance called pandemic unemployment insurance that a much broader group of the public is has access to. For California, we have some existing programs that we're adjusting right now to fit people's needs. EBT, um, as of um, April 28th, people will now be able to use that benefit to purchase food products and groceries online from a limited number of retailers. And regular unemployment's been expanded and extended. For our most basic needs, LA County is making meals available to those in need, and the school districts have also been providing food to families and to students. The governor issued an executive order allowing cities to enact rent protections. Glendale, for instance, has a rent um, increase freeze and an eviction moratorium, but the benefits for renters really vary depending on where you live because different cities have different programs. Thank you very much for that answer. We are reaching the end of the program. If there is anything that we didn't cover and you would like to add at this time, you could do at this time. Lastly, I'd just like to say that students need to take physical distancing very seriously. Just because we're distant though doesn't mean that we're alone. And I know a lot of you are adjusting by communicating more online. And um, taking time to maybe catch up on reading, on movie watching, on cleaning your house, on all kinds of other things. So let's, you know, really focus on 
making our lives and those around us as good as we can in these challenging times. And hopefully this will one day be something that you tell your children about. I'm Laura Friedman, and I hope that all of you stay safe. Thank you, viewers, for watching. Have a good day.